Welcome back. Condors Unleash. Is the red light on the bottom? Check the red light. Oh, there you go. Lights, lights on. on. Lights on. Lights on. Mike's on. Ryan Holt, Kevin Bartle. Welcome back. Condors Unleashed. My 45. Also on Bakersfield.com. You can catch the replay on demand anytime. Condors.tv. Uh, My 45, 1130. Saturday morning. It's been great. Everyone's been kind of bumping into us. And, hey, I saw you guys on TV the other day. Like, yeah, I, I never get to watch the show because we're always at the rink. But, uh, yeah, it should be good. And uh, so my 45, 1130, half-hour abbreviated version. So we get two segments each week, this week and next week. So uh, it's fun. It's fun on my 45, you know. You're, like, famous. It, it precedes two broke girls, I yeah. think. <laughs> <laughs> What else is on my phone? This is like great. Law and Order, SVU. I don't uh, have cable. Yeah, this is, yeah. How do you know? It's brutal. It's brutal. Uh, welcome back, though. Our player segment, Connor's winger, Kale Kessie, joining us. And uh, Kess, word on the word on the street. We we talked about it in Holtie's headlines. Condor is coming out with a a Condor's cookbook. Uh, this is a player driven. Matt Ford organized this entire thing. A Condor's yeah, he came cookbook. to us. He said we want to do a cookbook. Listen, we want to like, do great. a cookbook for charity. We said. Hey, just get us the content. Word on the street is you're the best cook on the team. What makes you the best cook on the team? Uh, I don't know. I'd say that's a good question, but just Chef Kayla. I don't know. Go by that, I guess. And I don't know. I just like to grill and usually eat at home most of the time. We don't go out too, too often. But uh, girlfriend's here now, and she's cooking as well. But uh, every time we barbecue, I'm always grilling and stuff like that. I just, I don't know. I like to cook and Change it up. Now, your recipe in the book is – I'm not going to spoil it. you got to buy the book. Yeah, you got to buy the book. you got to buy the book. Nine ninety nine. But it's a, <laughs> it's a ribs recipe. It sounds fantastic. Yeah, it is. It's really good. It's a recipe from home. Uh, my mom, and whenever I go home, she always makes me that. Uh, it's probably my favorite uh, recipe that she has. So it's definitely my favorite food, and it's uh, really nice when you can make uh, ribs, but uh, a little bit time-consuming, but not too bad. Now, how did you get into – it being a uh, cooking for yourself because I mean, you know, you don't really learn this in college. It's, it's, I mean, it has to be passed down, right? Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, well, I just moved away from home when I was little, I guess. Uh, I think I was away from home when I was 12. I was built in in Madison Hat there and I was playing minor hockey there. So, uh, just, uh, moving away at a young age, I think you just kind of fend for yourself and, uh, learn from, uh, I don't know, your parents when you go home and stuff like that. But uh, it is really pretty simple. It's just a little time-consuming once in a while. But, I mean, if you can read, you can cook. <laughs> I love it. I <laughs> mean, if you say so. I know plenty of people who can read and they can't cook anything. <laughs> uh, take this guy, for example. Yeah, hey, listen, the microwave is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, this place right here, you're not doing a whole lot of grilling out in February, in Saskatchewan, I'm so I'm guessing you you've already busted the grill out here in Condors Town, and you're, you're liking it. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, definitely the weather is uh, really really good here, so uh, we like to go by the pool and just hang out there and get some sun. Uh, but uh, definitely, uh, whenever you can grill, I think I love barbecue, and I think that's the best way to prepare food. So that's my favorite: is the barbecue whenever we can, and the weather here is great. So uh, that's definitely my favorite. But uh, hanging by the pool, you really can't beat that every day. Condor's uh, community event last night, Tip a Condor. Uh, what did you think about being a waiter last night at the uh, Petroleum Club? Yeah, it was awesome. It was a really good experience and uh, definitely have to be on your toes and uh, a lot of stuff to remember. And it's definitely uh, don't take anything for granted. Like uh, <laughs> they got a lot on their plate there and it's a lot of responsibility. Just uh, remembering the orders and getting drinks on time, make sure that they, already, they always have their glass full and uh, they need more bread, stuff like that. So it's definitely uh, – it was a good night, and it's a good uh, event for charity, for sure. You'll never dine out again <laughs> the same way, right? That's why he's cooking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be that guy at the table. It's like, listen, can you guys take it easy on the waiter, all right? He's had it. <laughs> he's had a long he's day. Got, it's not an easy job, okay? <laughs> That'll be him. There you yeah. go. And that's why he's cooking. That's why he's cooking. Right, so, again, go. cooking with the Condors cookbook coming your way. Uh, next couple of home games, uh, we'll get it. It's still in production, but uh, it's coming your way uh, at Condors home games. Switching gears. Kess, coming down to the wire here. It seems like every season kind of flies by. Just a couple of games left for the Condors in the regular season. But as a player, it has to be exciting to, to be in the playoff hunt and, and to be getting after it here over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, for sure. This is the uh, most exciting time of year. I think uh, we're battling for a playoff spot right now. But uh, that makes it more exciting. Just uh, we have a really good group of guys and a lot of good players. So I think uh, 
I think it will just take care of itself. We just have to continue to stick to the game plan and just play hard every night. I know we have the players to do it, and it's uh, going to be interesting. You know, the last couple of weeks, I've really had a lot of fun watching you and Curry and Gazdick. I mean, you guys seem to hit it off right away. Yeah, for sure. Uh, they're really, really good players, and they're, they're smart players, and they definitely work hard. So, I mean, that's easy. I love playing with those guys. They're simple. Just keep it simple and just work hard. And uh, I thought we had pretty good success there. And uh, it's good to see guys that go back up and get an opportunity. But uh, Curry, I love playing with him as well. They're both really good players, and they work hard every night. Do you, do you enjoy that that mentality of of being uh, on you know the quote unquote grind line and and maybe not you know producing as much offensively as maybe you would like, but in terms of being able to change the momentum in the game in other ways of the in other facets? Yeah, for sure. Uh, obviously, we got a lot of skilled guys on the team, and I think uh, the scoring's pretty much taken care of for sure. We got a lot of skilled guys throughout the lineup that can contribute there, but. Uh, for myself, just try and work hard every day. Just try and keep it simple, really. Just get pucks in, get pucks out, and try and limit my mistakes and just uh, try and block as many shots and finish as much checks and stand up for my teammates uh, when needed. And like like you said, uh, we just got to keep it simple, just work hard every night. And uh, if points come, that's that's awesome. But uh, that's definitely not a rule. We just got to keep momentum going for the team. And if you need to try and get it hemmed in, just get it deep and work hard. Let's talk about sticking up for your teammates. I know fighting, it's, it's really on the decline. Not too many guys are doing it all the time, but I've been down on the bench or in that area when you've come off the ice after a fight. <laughs> and, I, I mean, the adrenaline is pumping. Can you describe for the fans what that's like right from, I mean, when you're out there and you know what's going to happen and you drop the mitts, you know, what's going through your mind? How, how is the blood flowing? and just getting all jazzed up for it. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely uh, just heat of the moment. Uh, everyone's a competitive player out there. So, I mean, if after a big hit or uh, one of your teammates or someone get hit, uh, you're always willing to stick up for them. So uh, it's definitely just heat of the moment kind of thing and just different uh, things happen throughout the game that might start a fight. But uh, obviously you don't see too much squaring off anymore. But uh, Everyone's a competitive player, and that's how it starts. And you definitely have a lot of adrenaline, and I usually have quite a bit of adrenaline for a couple <laughs> minutes after and yeah. go to the locker room. I think Al's been a little mad at me a couple times. It's <laughs> called his equipment manager, Al Oman, who has some of the best stories uh, from Kale coming off the ice. <laughs> this, is, this is the part of the game I love, too. I mean, we're in Ontario. We're staring down people. Yeah, <laughs> just going right up to the glass like, yeah, what do you got, guys? Yeah, look at That's my favorite uh, part of pictures, too. Look you look at all hey, the fan reactions. That nice Stormtrooper jersey. <laughs> look at me. I just scored. <laughs> I love do you it. remember that play? Yeah, I usually, well, usually after the goal, I like to do a little celebration or something or go by the glass, but uh, don't uh, score too, too many goals. But uh, <laughs> when they come, you get pretty excited and might black out there for a little bit. Don't really know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> what, what has this year been, been like for you? Because now, you know, your third season, you know, you come back to Bakersfield. You were here for, I think, a cup of coffee and, and right back up to OKC. But, uh, you know, to, to be back here and to, to be in Condors Town this season, and how have you seen yourself grown here over the last uh, couple of months? Yeah, it's been an uh, awesome experience. I think uh, the fans have been great here and uh, loyal fans. So uh, definitely nice coming here to a sold-out uh, crowd for – all the games, but definitely nice when they're supporting you every night. And uh, we have a really good group of guys in the locker room, so it's uh, fun to come to the rink and just uh, compete here for a playoff spot coming down the push. But uh, I think it's gone pretty well here uh, throughout the year for sure, but we just got to keep it going. I mean, it's going to be a battle, like Holty said. You guys are so neck and neck. Does it come a time, uh, you know, where where you're just, you're just mentally exhausted from, you know, just stressing out over every single game and needing a win every single game? Uh, yeah, it can be stressful, but at the same time, if, uh, say, you lose a game, you just got to put that behind you. That's over with now, and you just got to get ready for the next game because you uh, can't really dwell on the past because uh, I think that will bring your game down and it will affect you for sure. So you just every game uh, just changes over every shift within a game. You can't really prepare for it. A lot of things, but we do prepare for their teams and their systems, so we're ready that way. But uh, you got to just be focused and mentally focused every game. Uh, just you never know what's going to happen throughout a shift. It can change in an instant. So you just got to be prepared. We go over video and stuff like that so we know what uh, the other teams are doing. Hopefully the summer is a long way off uh, for yourself and for the rest of the team. But when, when you do get the summer, where do you where do you go? What do you do? Yeah, it's uh, definitely nice to go home for a little bit, uh, see the parents and grandparents and sister, and uh, just go home for a little bit, hang out. 
And uh, after that, I guess, I just make my way. I used to play junior in Madison Hat. I usually go there for a week or so and see some old buddies and friends that are still there. And then the last two summers, I've been in Edmonton, I guess, training there with them. So uh, just like to go home after, just recoup and just take it easy for a little bit for sure before you have to start working out again. And just nice to see friends and family you haven't seen all year. And work on some new recipes. Over yeah, the summer. for sure. That's that's when you get in the lab and you get things done. You got to try things out. That's when you try things out over the summer. Yeah, that's about the only time you get the grill out in Canada too. So, <laughs> Cass, we appreciate the time. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. Right, good right. luck the rest of the way. Thank you. It's Condor's winger, Kale Cassie. He's just gonna walk right off. That's yeah, it. He's just good. You could have stayed on. You can stay on. I mean, we're just gonna say bye. Yeah, have a slice yeah, of pizza. Say bye to that. people. Uh, when we come back, Jerry Fleming will join us uh, on Bakersfield.com again. Condor's.tv. You can catch the entire replay. Condors are coming down the stretch here for the playoff push. So you want to get uh, your tickets, 324-PUCK, 324-7825, BakersfieldCondors.com. He's Kevin Bartle. He's Kiel Kessie. When we come back, Jerry Fleming will join us. My45, Bakersfield.com, Condors.tv. Don't go anywhere. It's Condors Unleashed, My45. Yeah, now you can leave.